Hey guys, I just wanted to do a reaction video to Fear the Walking Dead, Season 3, Episode 13, This Land is Your Land. Just as a quick recap, um, we have Madison and Walker um, and Strand, they're on, the, they're on their way back to Broke Jaw with the water, um, with the water truck, hoping, um, hoping, hoping to help out. everybody else out in the community but of course we also have like troy he went full super villain and led that horde towards broke jaw to the point where they all had to go down and hide in the pantry and so now and because nick and troy basically got jay killed and bitten they basically now have to work on trying to um get the walkers the horde off the ranch and try to save everybody before they get you know just trapped down there and eaten and whatnot so here we go. No time for that, Troy. Gotta leave him. He was better than us. That's why he's gone. Good. They don't survive this world on the killer. Shut up, Troy. Your brother's dead because you brought a horde down on us. So why don't you quit jerking off about the tragedy of it and help me do what Jake would have done or those people are going to die. And if they do die, it's not because they were too good for this world. It's because we failed. You knocked them into the ditch with the horde, you asshole. Chef runs all the way up past the barn. How long will it take dragging on her knees and elbows? About an hour to get there and clear the blockage. Right, plus we need an hour back. Might not be enough air down here to last. We have maybe two hours before the carbon dioxide kills us. All scared. We don't know what's going to happen out there, and we're less sure what's going to happen here. But uh, this is what we do know. The vent is broken. The only airway we have is blocked which means if we can't fix it we suffocate right now the enemy is not what's out there it's actually time the more of us there are the less time we have so we're asking for those of you who have been bitten Come forward. <sighs> yeah, figures. Yes, we do it the hard way. You ready?
You're strong. Don't break under now. I'll create a scene. I'll get to the stable. Blow the fuel reserve. All right. Be ready. Deal with me. Inhale. One, two, three. Does she 
nothing about them here. You know, my husband was in the first tower when it fell. I tried calling his cell over and over. I must have called it a thousand times. Because then there was a chance. A chance I might hear him again. Even when you're hopeless, hope is all you have. You've given us a few precious hours. There's no shame in that. I met my second husband at a support group for the families. Jerry was a paramedic. First responder. God, he used to make me laugh. They have to make you laugh. I mean, good sex and all that, sure. But if they're not funny, forget it. Good to know. Who brought you here? Jerry was convinced that the tower's falling was the beginning of the end. And I started to believe him. So when we heard about Otto and the ranch, it just felt like a perfect fit. You all right? <laughs> We're both. I'm not sure. We spent our last years hiding from the world. Well, we could have been out there exploring it. Promise me you'll never make decisions based on fear. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. Right? Yeah. It was stuff my dad saw. It haunted him until the very end. I guess that's the price you pay. Part of it, at least. I lost it one. So I get up on stage. And the music starts, one of the counselors playing on a Casio. <laughs> and I freeze. I, I can't remember a single word. And I'm standing there, staring out at the audience. When I see Nick's face looking at me in horror, like he's living <laughs> with me or something. <laughs> so he runs up on stage but then he forgets everything too <laughs> so he just starts blasting this land is your land this land is your land this land is <laughs> like over and over <laughs> like after like the 20th time <laughs> he, he takes this giant bow and everyone applauds <laughs> you and your brother we were kids but it changed i really looked up to him when i was young more than anyone more than my dad even
She got it. die in the finale, I swear. We're leaving soon. We found Daniel at the dam. Stop. Just it's safe. It's supplied. Stop. Pretending any place is safe, it's not. We keep searching for something that doesn't exist. We kill for it and die for it. Isha. You know better than anyone. Don't say otherwise. I'm sure I'm not sure. It doesn't mean I have to choose that. The dam has water and walls. It's the best we're gonna get. We should go while well, there's still sunlight. Where is the dam? What? Surely. On a map. It's close. We're gonna be there by morning. No. I'm not going. Nisha, look, you're in shock, okay? What you've just been through, I can't even imagine. I'm not, I'm not in shock. I'm seeing things more clearly now than I ever have. Your way doesn't work. It won't ever work. I can't do it anymore. We're safer together. We die as quickly together as we do apart. I need to find a way to live for myself. And I can't do that running in fear. I can't do that with any of you. I can't just let you walk. I'm not asking you, Mom. I'm telling you. Okay, so I get, 
I definitely got to say that um, the actress Alicia Debham Carey, if I'm getting that right, she really carried this episode. Um, I was impressed. I think it's probably the best episode we've done thus far in the series. And I, I, I mean, what she did was unimaginable. And I really think she's, I think she maybe is in shock, and maybe she isn't. I think even if she's not in shock, she's clearly just broken at this point. And, you know, I mean, it's like, Madison, I mean, every time they go with Madison, it seems like, I guess you can argue that, I guess her mentality is that whenever, they, wherever they go, like, the, you know, whether it's the hotel in Mexico, Broke Jar Ranch, it's like the whole thing just goes to crap because... I guess in a sense you can argue that Madison was kind of responsible because like he couldn't, you know, if he just agreed to kill Troy instead of just trying to feel bad for him and, and trying to save him from himself the same way, you know, Nick is trying to do that with him. And I guess they just feel bad for the Troy and I get that and he's broken and, you know, he was already like written off by society as this loser and, you know, there was no hope for him, but it's like, he's not Nick. I mean, he's, I mean, Nick's an addict, but this guy's like a just full-on just sociopath. He just went full supervillain, and you know, I I don't think he's I don't think this character is that character redeemable, especially after you know he basically destroyed Broke Jaw Ranch. So I guess it's like one of those things where now it's like Alicia wants to go off on her own and just kind of just, but it's like I don't know how far she's gonna get where on her own with just a ration and a gun. But I think she just kind of wants to go somewhere to like process like all this all this happened and it was an interesting note when she said that um you know the woman they were talk the woman that she um Alicia was talking to talked about how the husband her and and her her like the woman and her husband came to the ranch like not long after 9-11 so I thought like um, the Walking Dead started around like you know the apocalypse happened happened around like 2010 or something. But I don't know. If Otto was like gathering people. Um, even before the zombie apocalypse, maybe because of that whole advertisement. Like it's kind of unclear. But like I said, this really still episode. Um, Alicia really carried the episode, and I really liked it. And I look forward to seeing how you know the season ends. Hopefully, I mean, besides wanting Troy dead, I mean, I feel like the poss like you said, like how mu how much you know they have to deal with you know people going crazy at um the dam because it's like they were going cr because of um how they were fighting over the water d there. So it'll be interesting to and also be interesting interesting to see the kind of dynamic that Danny and Ophelia are gonna have. Knowing that, you know, Ophelia has now had to kind of embrace her darker instincts and fight in the zombie apocalypse and do horrible stuff. Um, not not necessarily about her father, but now it's like, you know, how, you know, what's that dynamic going to be like? Anyway, what do you guys think of the episode? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.